biggest thing was with COVID coming in, we knew that we would have to change things. But the way we were originally designed was always for the protection of our actors and our customers. So in that case, all we had to do was slightly modify the experience inside. Um, we usually kept a, an actor bubble, but you were at least three or four feet away anyway. Uh, the biggest thing is adding the masks, because as the CDC keeps saying, if we all wear masks, we could knock this thing out. So we're not just asking people to wear masks, we're requiring it. You cannot get on property without a mask. All of our actors are temperature to masked and logged every day when they come on. We try and keep social distancing. We had to implement a special time ticketing system. So you go online to get your tickets, then you're not on property until you get a text message that says it's okay for you to now enter the property. Our job, we feel, is to entertain you. So if you look, when people come out, they're smiling, they're laughing, they're having a good time. So in that case, we've done our job. In times of crisis, Halloween, you know, haunted houses, horror movies always do really well because people, they need that kind of a relief. We're in a situation now where we have no control over this COVID thing. So here we can go to a haunted house, we're in a controlled environment, we're gonna be facing our fears, but we know we can conquer those fears because we know we're gonna get out. It was important for us to be able to open this year and to kind of give us that sense of normality that it's Halloween and, and we still do have a haunted house to go to.